Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I tell you, it's a great day. Always, right? And this is how the life should be. Keep smiling. Yes. Today we're talking about Senator of Idaho, Mike Crapo, and he was diagnosed with prostate cancer back in January of 2000. Unfortunately, you know, he was cured, but it, his prostate cancer came back five years later, 2005, and now he's undergoing radiation. Do you think that he should have gotten a robotic prostatectomy instead? Arlene, robotic prostatectomy is another procedure which has now become accepted by all insurance carriers and all the doctors for doing for the prostate cancer itself. I tell you, I'm really looking, what the heck is this going on? Robotic prostatectomy, will it cure? What the robotic surgeons are sleeping and the patient is sleeping, they are both totally unconscious. They are totally conditioned unconsciousness. It's very unfortunate because nobody is paying attention to this body itself. We have a beautiful system. We have the best country in the world. And he being a senator, he must have signed all the consent form. And if he would have dissected the consent form, somebody would have explained it, I'm sure. Especially for radiation, which I don't know. But people who are getting robotic surgery, I'm sure, which I have seen it, consent form is so complicated. Nobody can understand that. Naturally, the person wants to be cured. So they're all looking in this, what we call hallucination. The auto-intoxication. The auto-believing system. And the FDA, which is a great organization which we have here, bless their heart. They're trying to protect people. They're trying to do the right thing. But at the end of the day, each one of them have forgotten about life. Life, liberty, and happiness. They forgot about it. Everybody is going toward the money, how they can suck more money from the insurance carriers. The question is, will that robotic surgery would have cured him? Nobody knows. I'm sure the radiation guy told him that it will cure. But unless you go to being yourself, become totally conscious, what I mean, that where there's no mind and no disease. And if you go to my book called The Orgasm World, dot guru and order a book called the orgasm prescription for condition unconsciousness anybody who's diagnosed with a prostate cancer or with any cancer itself for any disease so far as concerned a heart disease diabetic they should look this educate themselves so they become conscious naturally we want every one of them they should go to your doctor and work with them because you do need a doctor you do need a practitioner or a health professional who can help you but first you have to become a conscious so you can share with them please visit our website orgasmworld.guru and there is a specific chapter you can read and you will read whole my history there and that is how to live with the present. And you'll be amazed that how this body, which is, you, actually you got it free. We have won the lottery. We should be thankful to our mom and dad who has given us. And I see my mom and dad every day. My father was a yogi. And now I have become a yogi. And I want to make a million people in this country, yogi like me. Because we want to change. We want to wake up America. And that's my motto is. I wish all of you a good day. God bless. Namaste. 
Amen.